Hey everyone, so today we're going to be doing a video on before and after the gym skincare routine. All of these steps are pretty versatile no matter what time of day you work out. So let's just get straight into the video. So before we work out, we know that we are going to work out. And usually when you go and work out, you sweat, right? So the thing with sweating is that you want to leave your skin very breathable. You don't want to put a lot of products on it, especially if you're just going to work out and sweat them off anyways. You really want to make sure you put on minimal and that you put on things that are very light in texture. So let's get into the steps and recommendations. So my first step would be to wash your face. If you're waking up, you probably wash your face in the morning. If it's the midday or night, I still recommend just giving yourself a clean canvas. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but a really good way to wash your face is with a light gel cleanser like this one from Peach and Lily. This cleanser will hydrate and clean the skin, leaving it very breathable and ready for other products. So if you cleansed or didn't cleanse, the next step would automatically be no matter what, a toner or an essence. This will help to tone the skin, provide a really, really lightweight sense of hydration to the skin. So the next step I would say is moisturizer. Now this really depends on your skin type. If you feel like it's just not plausible for you to put on moisturizer for your work out because you have oily skin it's just overbearing that's totally fine but I like to use a really lightweight gel moisturizer two moisturizer recommendations I have are this one by peach slices it's their citrus honey aqua glow it just has a really thicker consistency but it's gel so it remains very light and breathable the next one I would recommend highly for oily skin which is the calming tide gel cream by then I met you it has an extremely thin consistency but it's still a moisturizer still hydrating and it could also work as a good serum for some dry skin types now the last step I don't care if you have oily skin if you have no skin like it doesn't matter you should be applying sunscreen I don't care if you are like in a box working out and there are no windows I still want to see sunscreen on you because it's so important because blue light can even contribute to damage on the skin so you really need to be putting on sunscreen my my favorite sunscreen and a very very lightweight one that is great for all all skin types is the Beach Shield by Crave Beauty. It has such a very light serum texture so it won't overwhelm any skin type and it'll leave the skin super super breathable. So you just finished working out, hopefully you are sweating, if not it doesn't really matter, I don't know why, hopefully. Anyways, after you work out, usually you're sweating or you're just stinky. So usually I'm like very prone to just walking around or working right after I work out because I guess I feel like this sense and this urge to like keep going and keep working so I get on my computer and I hang out and then I'm just sitting around in like my stank so I recommend that you shower after you work out like immediately and when you shower it's really really important to be using a gentle body wash the one that I use is by Eucerin it's a eczema friendly body wash it has an oily consistency I really recommend it for any skin type honestly because the oil is not overbearing or clogging and it foams a little bit so it helps to cleanse but it's really soft and gentle and it hydrates which is something a lot of body washes out there do not hydrate the skin they only strip so this is a really good option the next thing I would recommend is to cleanse so if you cleanse before you're probably thinking why would I cleanse again after I worked out or you are probably thinking is it too overbearing so that is up to you I really recommend that if you're going to cleanse you should cleanse after you work out if you're not going to cleanse before you work out. If you do both, what I recommend is that you use a oil cleanser to get rid of the oil-based impurity, which is that oil buildup or that sweat. The oil cleanser will focus on getting rid of those impurities and not strip the skin too much because you're over cleansing. So an oil cleanser would be a good option for those of you who are afraid of over cleansing but still want to cleanse the skin. So again, the next step would be a toner or an essence. You can use both or either one. It doesn't really matter. You just want to balance out that that pH. Also, a really lightweight serum can also do the trick with balancing out your pH. So if you have something with a watery consistency, that's also a really good option. So even after you work out, it's really important to still keep your skincare products on the lighter side because you want your skin to be able to breathe. So what I like to use in terms of serum, which is the next step, is the Glass Skin Serum by Peach and Lily. It's just a really lightweight, watery texture. It can double as a toner because of the watery texture and it's just very breathable 
for the skin as well as hydrating so you don't have to smash on something really thick. So again, I would go in with a lightweight moisturizer, which is the next step, and that would be either the Calming Tide Gel Cream or the Citrus Honey Aqua Glow by Peach Slices. So the next thing I would go in with is an oil. I know oil might not be very attractive to oily skin types because right after you're working out, you already sweat, like why put more oil on? If you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to, but I really think oil is very, very important for all skin types, especially oily because you are already overproducing. So putting on oil will help to decrease that amount of production because your skin is going to think that you are repairing your lipid barrier, that it doesn't need to produce more oil to repair that lipid barrier. A really good oil I recommend is squalane oil. Also dry skin squalane oil is really great. It has amazing cell regeneration benefits. It's also really good for hydrating and anti-inflammation. So it's not always needed, but I would say it's a really great last step. All right, so make sure to watch these videos in the end screen here, and I hope you really enjoyed this video and it gave you some good insight. All right, guys, bye.